I believe the Obama administration is choking the artery that provides affordable, available energy to America. And when they do that, our economy could have a heart attack. It's a huge wrecking ball. When you accumulate all of the things they've done in a very short period of time, a lot of it by regulation, a lot of it by just dictate, the public don't really understand it. Unfortunately, there's not enough people in the media that understand the scope of energy and the value it is to this country. Every recession in America has been preceded by high energy prices. And here we are in the greatest recession of our time, and this administration is doing everything they can to restrict energy production. Folks, trains, planes, cars, trucks depend on oil transportation. That's our system. And when we don't produce it, OPEC will. 85% of our, op, of our, op, of our shoreline is, is locked up. We're the only country in the world to do that. There is no civilized country that does that. Everybody, Brazil has just become a cash-rich country. Why? Oil discoveries off their shores. Polymers, plastic, fertilizer, the cost of making fertilizer is 70% natural gas. Natural gas is a commodity that people don't realize. It's a part of your clothes. It's a part of your carpets. It's a part of your drapes. It's a part of everything. And so is oil. Our whole society is built around these two. I'm not, I'm for all the new alternatives. But folks, if somebody thinks wind and solar is going to replace oil and transportation, I'd like to see the plan. This country cannot rebuild its economy without available, affordable energy, and we need it all. We need all the green we can get. Let the market work. Make sure we have adequate supply of oil, gas, coal, wind, solar, biodiesel. I've probably missed one. Ethanol. All of them. We need to produce everything. Let the marketplace work. Let people have choices. America's future depends on its energy supply. 